Welcome to Lake County and the Chain of Lakes. We're on lovely Blarney's Island today in Antioch Township. Tourism is a huge industry in Lake County, which which affects everybody day to day. Whether you're selling the bagels in your bakery in town or you're pumping gas to one of these boat owners out here. I want to encourage everyone to please come on and enjoy all of the attractions in Lake County and especially the beautiful chain of lakes up here in Northern Illinois. I would like to introduce you to some of our local mayors who can tell you directly how tourism affects their communities. Hi, I'm Brett Blomberg, Mayor of the Village of Lincolnshire, and I'm standing on the stage of the critically acclaimed Marriott Theater at the Lincolnshire Marriott Resort. Tourism in Lincolnshire means economic development that represents an important financial and cultural tool that provide amenities for our residents, as well as visitors. It has a significant ripple effect on everything from hotels and restaurants to other businesses and provides an opportunity to reach a broader audience and demonstrate what is so special about our community. Hello, I'm Harriet Rosenthal, Mayor of the Village of Deerfield, and I am so excited to let you know that Deerfield is the place to be, and tourism gives us the opportunity to show off our wonderful community. Our six great hotels appeal to the fussiest of travelers as well as to those who wish to be a bit more economic. Deerfield's dining, shopping, and recreational opportunities are numerous and varied. Welcome to Grace Lake, Illinois, founded in 1895. Our town has a lot of attractions to offer tourists, including our historic downtown, which has a small outdoor ice cream parlor and a drive-in restaurant, as well as the recently added Grace Lake Historical Museum. Our downtown is also home to the weekly farmer's market, which brings fresh produce to our town and attracts over 1,200 people per week. In fact, it's one of the largest farmer's markets in Lake County. But there's more to Gray's Lake than just the historic downtown center. In the southern part of town, we have the Lake County Fairgrounds. For 51 weeks out of 52 every year, the Lake County Fairgrounds has attractions for families. On the northern end of our town, we have the College of Lake County with the James Lumber Performing Arts Center, which also hosts an artist series with many events that occur on a regular basis. If it wasn't for tourism, Gurney, Illinois wouldn't even be on the map. You tell someone that you are from Gurney, they really don't know where that is. But if you say you live by Six Flags, everyone knows where that is. Gurney is the number one spot in Illinois for family fun. With Six Flags, Key Lime Cove, and Gurney Mills, we have something for everyone. And we have local activities and festivals such as Gurney Days and our famous farmer's market every Friday. It's quiet here now, but soon this park will be bustling with just a few of the events that make Libertyville a great place to work, live, or just visit. No matter what the season, Libertyville's downtown has events going on for both young and old alike. Whether you enjoy great food at Out to Lunch every Friday in the summer, the farmer's market every Thursday, or the fun events of Friday, first Fridays, you'll enjoy downtown Libertyville anytime. But the downtown isn't the only place to visit when you come to Central Lake County. Libertyville is also the home to world-class youth soccer and baseball programs as well as other sports. Or maybe you'd enjoy some of the fine programs out of the sports complex, including the driving range and indoor climbing wall. Libertyville's an important part of Lake County tourism, and you're an important part of tourism in Lake County. Hi, our Lake County residents and our visitors have wonderful opportunities to enjoy nature here throughout all of Lake County. Right now, we're standing here at Independence Grove, where we have over a million visitors come annually to enjoy boating, fishing, our handicap accessible and adaptable playground, and our wonderful outdoor free concert series that we have throughout the summer. I encourage all of you to please come out and enjoy your forest preserves with over 150 miles of trails for walkers, bikers, equestrian riders, and just to come out and sit and enjoy nature. You know, we have such a cultural uh, setting here, you know, with the historical, authentic type of feel. This has a rich history of uh, cultural things as far as the PMNL Theater. Uh, you know, we're just a hop, skip, and a jump from the chain of lakes. And uh, again, if somebody comes here, they want to, they feel like they're part of the community. Right. Uh, for years, uh, Long Grove has been the place to go, the place for tourism in the area, in Chicago, and in the whole Midwest. Tourism has been a big part of Long Grove for a long time. We feel it's a great place to come if you live in the area, in Chicago, or in anywhere in the Midwest. We bring a lot to the table here. The, uh, your, your help here at Tourism will help the merchants that are here and also it uh, will help your family. Come back here and spend a day here. It's 
it's a step back in time, walk through, it's a slower pace, and I'm sure you'll find some wonderful things here. I'm sitting in one of the uh, larger rooms of the uh, Cuneo Museum and Gardens. Uh, also, we have our holiday light show here every year. We've been doing that, I think, for approximately 20 years now, which is a major holiday attraction uh, no, starting after Thanksgiving and running af one day after the first of the year. Uh, in addition to that, uh, there will be concerts and, and outdoor <coughs> plays performed here. Tourism to Zion is like an open invitation to our home. Our home is Zion, Illinois. Here we are in Shiloh House, which is the home of Zion's founder, John Alexander Dowie. This is a lovely attraction for people to come and see when they come to Zion. Zion is also home to Lake County's largest parade, the Labor Day Parade, which takes place over Labor Day weekend. We have Kringle's Kingdom, which is a beautiful festival that lasts about a month during the Christmas holiday season. So Zion is home to a lot of interesting things as far as tourism goes, as well as Illinois Beach State Park, which is a fabulous tourist attraction right on the shores of Lake Michigan. Tourism means a direct and immediate economic impact to Waukegan. It means an active use of our lakefront for recreational boating, charter fishing, and summer fun. It is sold out world-class performances here at our Genesee Theater in a vibrant and bustling downtown. It means that our hotels can reach their sales goals. It is working with our partners to provide a year-round calendar of family-friendly events that our residents and visitors can enjoy. It is working together as Lake County communities on a focused effort to make our area a destination where we provide a multitude of fun and exciting choices to welcome today's savvy traveler. In my opinion, tourism is the number one opportunity that we have as communities right now to help see us past this economic downturn and move us forward into the future.